afternoon. I am uh, venturing out into trying a new recipe. And I just realized that while I'm on the phone with you, I can't tell you what the recipe is, but it's a good thing I memorized it. So, <laughs> so <laughs> it's a good thing, right? So um, anyway, so that's a lesson in live. Maybe I should have printed the recipe out first, but anyway, good thing it's simple. So I'm taking, trying to make those peanut butter cups uh, the Shakeology, the chocolate Shakeology, because Lou's out with his friend helping him I don't know, do something. And so I'm bored and I want to snack, so I'm going to try and make something new. So I love Reese's peanut butter cups, but they're not exactly stellar. So, and I love chocolate and peanut butter, and uh, as I've mentioned before, so uh, I'm going to try this out. So, what I'm doing is two tablespoons of coconut oil, right? Two tablespoons of coconut oil, it says. And then four tablespoons, oh, gotta melt it more. Four tablespoons of Shakeology. Coconut oil usually melts really fast, but I need another tablespoon. So hold up a second. Does anybody else have a junk drawer that's like too full and you can't find anything? Anyway, I've got four of these, but it's because I can never find them. And I put this on for 200, two minutes, we'll see. Okay, so my coconut oil is melted. It, you can melt it in a pan too, I like it the microwave. It's only uh, four tablespoons of, four tablespoons, I need to order more of this because this is Louie's favorite, it's a vegan chocolate. So four of these, two, and so this is gonna make, so we're gonna do eight tablespoons total. I'm probably gonna get chocolate all over my white shirt. So, let's see how, We'll see how it works out. I mean, how bad can it be, right? It's chocolate, peanut butter cups. I mean, really, how can you screw that up? I don't know, we'll have to see, maybe it's possible. I doubt it. So they said to keep mixing it and so it turns into like, like kind of like a cake batter, which actually, that's actually happening. So I think we're onto, the, we're onto something here. So even though I've got my mini, my mini pan here, muffin pan, little minis, right? which again, I never use. So I'm actually kind of excited today that I'm gonna put it to some good use. So I'm gonna put even Steven in the bottom of this. And I wonder if I'm supposed to be, I'm gonna just, so it says it makes eight and I was gonna make double, but then I'm thinking, well, if I eat, make double, then I'm gonna be eating probably double. So, <laughs> so maybe I won't tempt myself because, uh, no, probably two is enough. So if anybody's following the 21 day fix plan, this is apparently one quarter red, so that's protein, and two uh, teaspoons of uh, for your oils or your fats, good fats for the day. Actually not good fats, for your oils um, or like peanut butters and things like that. So I don't think it's gonna make a ton. I think they're gonna be relatively small, but again, it's supposed to be a treat, it's not a meal, right? And since I'm on camera, I won't lick the spoon because I won't grow show. I'll just do it when I turn it off. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm not really. Anyway, so actually, I should probably I can probably make a lot of this. I didn't realize that this Shakeology is so versatile. I mean, I can make those protein balls out of it. So I kind of seem to measure that pretty easy. So then you're supposed to take one teaspoon of um, peanut butter. And you know what I hate about new peanut butter is that when you get the natural stuff, the oils separate and it becomes, I don't know why I'm shaking it, because I really, oh God, i got to use my muscles. <laughs> it's getting it on me. I'm pretty strong, you know, really. Okay, so now we got teaspoons. I didn't, I found this one. This is one I never lose. So I'm going to just kind of mix this up, because when you got a brand new jar of peanut butter, because I eat like... It's kind of my life source. Um, it says to, so I'm just going to kind of go past it, the oil here. So it's supposed to be one teaspoon of peanut butter on top. And we'll see again how this turns out because I think of these, this peanut butter, I'm going to have to put it in the fridge. But it's all good. Peanut butter can't be bad. There's no bad peanut butter. Except for Kraft. Now that I don't eat sugar, that Kraft stuff that I used to eat when I was a kid, that my kids still eat because I refuse to eat anything healthy, it 
tastes like a bag of sugar to me. But anyway, the kids still eat it. They, they're completely on guard of all beach body, everything, or actually any healthy eating. I shouldn't even say beach body. For the last few years, I've tried to trick them into eating some things. I think at Valentine's Day, I made red velvet muffins for them, and I made it with beets. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> to get the red and then I uh, tried to make icing using fat so I tried to use it with this recipe had called for avocado and I tried to add like stevia to make it sweet and chocolate cocoa powder and um anyway if they, they figured it out pretty quickly <laughs> but they tried it because it looked looked like it was a real cupcake <laughs> so they're always on guard this I'm sure you know I won't have to share because they'll say it's got something good in it and forget about it wouldn't want them to be healthy. No, that I'm, apparently I'm the worst mother in the world. I tell them they'll thank me one day. Okay, so enough with that. So then we gotta go back to the drawing board. So then I'm supposed to take, same thing over again, two teaspoons of, or sorry, tablespoons of coconut oil. We're gonna microwave this up again and add four more tablespoons of the chocolate shakeology. If it's that easy to do, I don't know, man. I might be making these all the time. It's kind of a nice little treat instead of going there. Usually if I really have a hankering for one, I go get those chocolate bars. You know, like the real Reese's Pieces. And then I have three and then I share it with the kids because I'm so awesome. It's really just a way that I don't eat them all because if they're in my hands or my grips for even three seconds, they're going to disappear. Anyway. No, I think I used... Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Okay. Plus, I have to do this when Louis's not here because he kind of like uses, this is his favorite and I'm like, I only got a little bit left. So he's been yelling at me to stay away from it till the new bag comes in. Because this time I bought vanilla and I love the vanilla, but he doesn't. So if he sees me touching that, he's going to get, he'll have a little hissy. Thing. Even though I told him we can call and get it ahead of time, we can call and order it early, but he doesn't want to screw with the schedule. Because I mean, that would be like crazy talk, right? Like... I don't ask questions. I just try and avoid it altogether. <laughs> really, like, it's just, sometimes just not worth it. You, you know, everybody's got their things. His is built. Timing and hydro. Oh, I think this is him. I should probably stop talking. Hey. There he is. Gotta hurry. <laughs> Gotta hurry. Hi. I'm making something. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Gotta hurry. What? Nothing. I'm talking about you, so I was like, Talking about how you're gonna come and yell at me that I'm eating up your shakeology, your chocolate stuff. So I'm doing a live video. I'm making some peanut butter cups since she left me alone. I had nothing else to do. <laughs> we'll see how it happens. So I'm doing a live video. I'm hungry. Well, I don't know. This is so far not turning out well, just so you know. They look like in concept, but the peanut butter, I think it's because I should have made it cold. So just note to yourself, put it in the fridge. It's all kind of blending together. But again, chocolate peanut butter, how bad can it be, right? Like it's gonna, who cares? Really, who cares? Okay, so I'm supposed to do this. So it's basically, again, two table and four tablespoons of the chocolate shakeology. I use vegan because I don't like dairy anymore. Pretty much cut that out for the most part. I replaced it with uh, coconut milk and almond milk are my new faves. I never really liked milk anyway, so it wasn't a hard thing for me to do. Um, but I did cut it out of my... These are actually coming to be full, um, full size, funny enough, full size um, little mini muffin cups. I'm a little surprised at how big they are, so this is encouraging. So I'm gonna scrape every last bit out of here. And then what I'm gonna do is, all you have to do is put it in the freezer, they said for about five hours to make it obviously hard. And so they pop out of the muffin tin. And I don't know if that's gonna actually work because I didn't grease it, we'll have to see. So that's it guys. So. Whip them up if you got it. If you don't have chocolate shakeology, you know where you can get it. You can get it from me. You just got to text me. Um, but it is amazing. It's versatile. I've used it for pancakes. I made these amazing chocolate protein pancakes last weekend. I freeze. I usually make a double or triple batch, and I freeze them and put them in the freezer because they're great. They actually taste like brownies. I've been kind of mixing this recipe up, and I nailed it last week. So that's awesome. And uh, great for shakes. I mean, it's a meal. It's, it's not a protein shake. They are... Um, nutrient-dense shakes that have protein in them, about 17 grams of protein, but they're all natural. So not like um, there's lots of meal replacements or protein shakes, but uh, Shakeology is, 
100% all natural. There's no soy. It's amazing. It makes me feel good. Um, and then you can make things like this with it. So anyway, have a great uh, weekend. Try, try it out. And if you, you want to check out uh, uh, or want more recipes, you just, uh, just message me. Okay, bye.